Good morning. Here in Flushing, New York. This is the place I got for my first and I'm the first person to spend the night here. Ah, it's too much sun in my face. Let's go have breakfast. This is new. Spicy, no spicy. Yeah, spicy, spicy, please, thank you. This is good tamale. Good tamale? Yes, sir. I'm excited. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Good. There's a couple really good steamed rice noodle places in Flushing. This is another one. Yeah, My favorite thing to get here is the curry fish ball. You ever had a fish ball before? You need a fish ball in your life. Molly rice noodle in a black pepper beef pancake all before 9 a.m. I love flushing. Challenging thing is uh, where am I gonna go and eat this? I also want some soup dumplings and my friend Danny owns this place so Hope he doesn't mind. I brought some other food with me. That's my go-to dumpling basket now. All right, I didn't really need two tamales. I'm about to eat dumplings. I got rice noodles. I got a big pancake. I'm about to eat hot pot. Hot pot head. There you go. Get the shirt down below. Before my dumplings get here, snack on my tamale and my rice rolls. Mm. I love this question. If you think fish balls for breakfast doesn't work, You can come and try with this. Peanut sauce, sesame, chilies, and just luxuriously silky and soft steamed noodles. And bouncy fish balls soaked right in with a hint of white pepper. Mm. Mm. The guy was wrong. This is not a good tamale. It's a fantastic tamale. Sweet aromatic corn come to my mouth. Hmm. Got an idea. Soak this already amazing tamale in some peanut and chili sauce. This crossover needs to happen professionally. Oh, it's so good. I'm excited to try this. This is a new place. So this is the black pepper shell bean. Shell means like roasted, toasted. Bean is like a, like a pancake. And this is a really popular street food in China. People will be on the side of the road. They will have these like brick or mud ovens. And they will just be cooking these shell bean. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this kind of tastes like the um, black pepper buns you get in Taiwan. Look how flaky this is. Do not ever count on this thing for, for important stuff, okay? Because it's just way too flaky. Don't depend on it. Meat, onions, black pepper, just a massive beef filling. Mm. It is as beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside. I mean, look at this, how big the filling is. Look at the overstuffed bun. I gotta dip this in the sauce too. Three dollars. Come on, rather spend three bucks on a McMuffin or this baby right here. Mm-hmm. That's the right answer. Swipe right on that. Super like this thing. I wish there's like food tender. I really do. No, I'm just waiting for my dumplings. Turnip puffs. Whoa. Get this when you come here. Crunchy radish and meat inside. A little bit of shrimp too. I was saying how flaky the last pancake was. This thing will forget to show up in its own wedding. Mm. This is the sweet version of the red bean. This thing tastes like your mama and my mama. Warm and sweet. And melt your heart. I got my dumplings. What I love about this place is that the dumplings come out perfectly plump every single time. Sometimes you open soup dumplings up, they, they crumble, they shrivel up. Not these babies. First of all, I started with a peanutty wonton. A little vinegar. 
in the hot oil with ginger. Start off the regular soup dumpling. Well, you don't have to do it this way. I like enjoying my soup before I munch on the dumplings. Everybody, have a little vinegar and chilies, and now I get to eat you. All right, now that I have had a couple of pork dumplings in my system, I can move on to the veggie one. Don't think I could have started with this one, though. Mm. When it gets a little cooler, I like to just put the whole thing in my mouth. Just get that great porky burst. Yeah. Let's see you do that, Skittles. Would you prefer to eat a bunch of candy that sticks to your teeth for the next week? Or this, the real taste of rainbow. And probably my favorite, the truffle soup dumpling. As soon as you open this up, the alluring aroma of the truffle is just, it's a little too much. That's my favorite, I love truffles. Right now, I think I'm ready to go eat hot pot. So all the hot pot places in New York, they're doing the outdoor seating. And Heidi Lau is the number one most famous hot pot chain in the world. And look what they're doing here. It's like a tent city. So you're just eating outside. It's a hot day too. You gotta really love hot pots to wanna get in on a hot summer's day. And I do, I love it that much. All right, let's see what they have. So they're known for their like four different sections of soup base, but they don't have that today because we're sitting outside, everything's modified for COVID. Look at the classic spicy mala. Ooh, mala hot pot looks good. Pepper tornado. I think we need pepper tornado. Tornado. Mushroom. I got a lot. Okay, pepper tornado and the mala, I think, were the classic spice. This one's more expensive, so I think it's better. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't I haven't eaten here since the, the Try Guy episode of 2018. They usually have the four flavors, but they don't they don't have that anymore, so they do have the double. Confirm soup base. Whoa, oh, you can add numminess. All right, time for order some food. Whoa, some delicacies. Spicy river snail, pork feeds, braised pork intestine, spicy bullfrog. Wow, signature tofu. Let's get some signature tofu. Signature dancing noodles. Ribeye. Kobe beef belly. Premium fatty beef. New Zealand lamb shoulder. Pork shoulder. Cuttlefish paste. Interesting. Brains. God knows I need some, but not today. I still remember the last time I ordered brains. Just dropped it on the floor. A mind is a terrible thing to waste and I did it. Pretty nice. There's a tent, there's some mood lighting. You got airflow, even though it's like a hot summer day. It feels pretty cool. Businesses are really trying to do what they can during this crazy pandemic. So I prefer eating outdoors than I do indoors. Some of you guys, you don't like the smell of hot pot on your body. I don't know why, but some of you do not here. You won't. I think after this ends, and it will end, I think we should keep some aspects of outside dining. This is a magnificent. You agree? She's nodding. That's Sophie. What's up, Soph? That's great. The green pepper one. I asked for extra numminess, they delivered. Oh my God, there is a lot of peppercorn in here. <laughs> that is pure hot oil. Wow, that is spicy. Oh my gosh. That looks like good quality meat. What is this? Lamb beef? Lamb. This is. Well, I'm gonna try to help it on fire later. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really spicy and really numb. If you just love Sichuan spices, that's your thing. But it is, wow. Did you just see that? See what? I swear two little hobbits came by and threw a ring in here. One ring to rule them all. Right, the pepper one's way better. I told you 
pepper. That's way better. This is like almost too much for me. Right? Yeah. Maybe don't <laughs> recommend this. This is like seriously borderline oh not God. edible. Wow. I mean, it's pretty, but this thing will definitely light you up. There's a little too much peppercorn here. I can handle the spice, but the peppercorn is just, wow. This it's is, really spicy. It's, like, it's, it's very numbing. numbing. Yeah. It's very numbing. One bite of this, you can watch any tear jerker okay. movie. You can <laughs> sit through the Lion King, can eat that? not drop a tear. If you're about to break up with your significant other or do anything emotional, take a couple bites of this. Yeah. You'd be numb to anything. <laughs> but baby, I thought we we're gonna be together forever. I don't feel anything. Perfect for winter though. I think if you come here, Subarctic temperature. We thought the next time, like New York City, is uh, not a wind show of negative 20 or something. Order that. Oh, this is one of the craziest, spiciest, numbiest soup soup bases I've ever had. Don't do this, kids. We need to put a warning sticker on this thing. Adults, if you can't at least get past that three times spicy instant noodle, don't order this. Wow. The tomato broth really good. The spicy one, it's all right, it's not just about the spice. I feel like I've had spicier, but I never had numbier than that. If you don't know what it is, try biting into a citron peppercorn. It was like that multiplied by about a million. But definitely recommend this green pepper broth and also tomato broth. All right, now that my nose stopped running, let's eat. Besides food, so when you go upstairs, there's a children's playroom. Wow. I guess uh, kids don't need no hapa. The hapa tent city. This is, oh, so you, this is chargers for your phones. Let me show you the bathroom. This is like an airline. They actually give you razors and, ew, bleu de Chanel. Toothbrush, combs, what is this? Wet wipes, toothpicks. The next day. Things kind of spiraled out of control a little bit after the hot pot meal. Like I was saying, that was the nummiest hot pot broth I think I've ever tasted. And I'm used to eating really spicy hot pot broth. There used to be a place in um, Manhattan called Hoi. It's one of the first all-you-can-eat hot pot places that popped up in New York City. And I love that place. I go there all the time. But the thing is with that place is that as good as it is, the broth, if you order the spiciest, is so spicy that I know for the rest of the night and way into the next day. It'll be like Mount Mordor in my stomach. So even during filming this hot pot, I, I feel it. I feel this thing having that, that effect on me, maybe even more so than the other hot pot place. So I went home, curled up in a fetal position, and that's pretty much where I remain till now. So yeah, if you ever go to Heidi Long, it's good. I mean, the broth is good. Get the tomato, get the green pepper. Maybe stay away from that crazy, spicy, nummy broth. I think finally my stomach is at a point where I actually feel hunger, so. It's about uh, 10 a.m. or so right now, so I want to put some stuff in my stomach. The other strategy of getting over like a, like a really spicy dish, at least for me, is I like to eat a lot more, so it kind of pushes the chili out. I, you'll suffer a little bit, but once you push that super hot food baby out of there, all happiness. Let's go. All right, this is where I wanted to go to. I've never been here before. This is a think, fairly new wonton noodle shop. And the locals absolutely love it. Let's give it a try. What's your name? Larry. Larry, what's good here? Um, they're kind of like uh, dumplings. Uh -huh. They're basically just pork and shrimp, right, right? Dumplings and pork and shrimp? Right, yeah, Wait, yeah. what about the noodles? The noodles are very good too. Yeah. Right, so I should get wonton noodles yeah. and dumplings? Yeah, I'm buying frozen to bring it home and then take out. Wow. So I'm doing both. both. Okay, okay. Well, this guy, this guy is uh, satisfying his needs now and later. And the owner's very good, Max. Owner's very good? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited now. This guy got me all excited. I got the two dumplings, the this beef one. stew, uh -huh. and then the, um, the cha ching. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I know you. Are you Maxi? I'm Maxi. Hi. This is your noodle shop? This is my shop. I, I'm, I'm excited to try it. Oh, yeah? Can you uh, bring me out some of your favorites after I, after your table clears out? Can you, yes, uh, just give me a minute. Okay? Yeah, no worries. I have no idea what I want to eat. What should I eat? Definitely try the three topping. Three topping? Soup, uh, but it's a little hot, so you might want to try the low meat. Okay. So what, do I need to try the soup though? I'm a big fan of soup. You're going to get the soup, but the soup is served on the side. Good. Okay, so, so I get a little taste of both? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I like how you do things. Okay, what else? Anything else um, I should get? So the most popular, mm -hmm. um, are you a fish guy or are you a beef guy? Both. Both? I like I it when my beef eats some fish and I get to eat a steak. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I love both. Okay, so um, the most ordered three topping is the wonton dumpling fish bowl uh -huh. or the wonton dumpling beef stew. Wait, so there's a fish soup and there's a beef soup, right? 
it's really just one kind of broth, okay. but when you add the beef stew sauce, it uh -huh. turns into this like a whole nother. Can you broth, put the yeah. beef thing on the side so I can dump it in after I taste it? Yes, I can Great. do that for you. Thank okay. you so much. No problem. Wow, so those stew. are some jumbo dumplings. Yeah. I and fish up with some fish ball. Oh, that's that great. Too. Wow, these are some giant sized dumplings and wontons. So, this skin. how we like to do it, okay. I'm sure you know already. Dip this in a soup, in and out, and mm -hmm. then you're good. All right. Not in Japan, but in the spirit. Itadakimasu. Ooh, this is the biggest fish ball I've ever seen. Look at scallions inside as well. Ooh, that's a squishy, bouncy fish ball. You want your fish balls to be like your tennis balls. Bouncy. This is the dumpling. Oh, that is a giant dumpling. It's so pretty. It looks like the dumpling is getting married and the dress is just dragging behind her. Finally, the wontons. What I like about this place already, I'll tell you what I already like. It's just the ginormous size of everything. Crispy fish skin. Oh, that's a darn good looking ship. And the braised beef. And it looks like these are flinks, which are the best for beef noodle soup. I love using this part of the cow to braise because this meat has good tendon and cartilage inside as well. And last but not least, bed of egg noodles. Let's try this. Fish skin dipped into the wonton soup, which is only natural. Fish just wants to go swimming. Mm. I love it more than chicken skin chips. Love fish skin chips. Nice good for you too. Nice protein. Wow. That is good broth. Oh, you taste the shrimp in here, the little bit subtle crunch from the spring onions. You know how much this weighs? One ton. Hot oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the noodles. A little rain and hot oil action. This is my version of making it rain. No dollar bills, but uh, I think better stuff's coming down. Mmm. Wow, that fish ball's delicious. Sign of a good fish ball, the bounciness. You could bounce a quarter off his butt. Mmm. Subtle fish flavor. Light little crunch from the spring onions. Oh, this is great. I will buy a pack of this to take home with me. Juicy, tons of shrimp inside. Doesn't even need to be dunked into the wonton soup, but that's where it belongs. Mm. And then dumplings. Mm. Just as good. And also, what's great about this is the skin is so light and brown seed. So at no point are you ever feeling like it's too doughy. That doesn't happen. I love adding a little white pepper into my soup. Love that. Oh, that hits the spot. Them are some elastic noodles. You want your noodles to be bouncy. You want to be able to bungee jump off a bridge with them. I'm dunking this one into the beef broth. Yeah, baby. There you go, a little hot oil in there. Soak up some of that beef broth. I'm in love with that. This is some amazing wontons, noodles, and dumplings. Dude, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to do this, but I think I'm supposed to pour this into this. Yeah, baby. I think that's how it's supposed to be done. Mm. Surf and turf soup. Now after this, I've got a secret dumpling meeting. I'm working on a secret dumpling project. Can't tell anyone yet. Today's the first talk. Only thing I can tell you is that I'll be eating strictly dumpling for a while. So this is what I was talking about. I mean, I know outdoor dining is the necessity right now during COVID, but, and of course, like all the restaurants where I'd rather have all the patrons inside and fill it up. But I'm just talking about this atmosphere. Just walking around here, you're walking past people cooking food, cooking the Korean barbecues, barbecuing outside, people just sitting around. This is very much like, a, like an Asian night market atmosphere. So I hope, you know, after this whole thing is over and I hope that comes as soon as possible, we keep some of this. Can you imagine like going outside in the middle of October, it's nice and chilly, but you got a beautiful flaming Korean barbecue or a hot bus sitting in front of you. I think eating here is fantastic. Eating outside is just fantastic. Great eating environment. Point is, hope they keep outdoor dining even after this whole thing is over. Sophie Brown really sugar. loves this place. What are we getting? 
brown sugar boba ice. Why are you are you into this whole craze of the brown sugar no, boba craze? I'm not into the craze, but this ice is really good. You excited? It should be bubble tea after hot pot. Now it's like shaved ice and ice cream. Mm. With the bubbles. I feel like Asian desserts has been constantly upgrading itself. Happy? Happy? Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later.